I'm hearing, uh, receiving a message, receiving intel that I am enabling people to procrastinate, several different people, uh, by doing this stream. And can I just say, BASED! I love procrastinating. You're why I dropped out of high school, heart. Oh, that's so sweet. We're gonna play more Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. I have also been blessed with an overlay from They Buck. And I'm gonna hop right in. We get remixes, actual remixes today. Uh, oh yeah, and I went back, the only thing I did off stream is I went back and superbed exhibition match, and I would love to say that it was like super easy, but it took a ton of tries. It was shocking. Like, that's one of the easiest Rhythm Heaven minigames. It, for some reason, with this tiny little bit of lag, it was like one of the hardest to do. I really gotta play a Rhythm, rhythm Heaven game. What's the best one to start with? Uh, people in chat are saying it, but Fever. Fever, 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 Fever. I mean, if you want to go crazy, you could also start, I think, uh, Tengoku, which is the Japanese exclusive one on the GBA. Uh, that has a unofficial translation called Rhythm Heaven Silver that I think is also fine to start with. But yeah, I, th I think Fever is the best starting place. Mike started with this one and I think that's like not a good idea. So this is like the 20 second long Rhythm Rally. Might still fuck it up, but we'll try. And the DS one I would not recommend emulating. Do it on an actual DS, but it is good. Easiest game I've ever played in my life. That's probably literally the easiest one to perfect. Because <laughs> it's so short. And I think when you fail a perfect in this one, it like instantly ends it and slams a metal door in your face. I also happen to think Fever's just the best one. Not by a huge margin, but I think it is. So is this just playing three games in a row? I actually, I really don't know much about this. There's my me. Key to karate, score 70 points. Okay. Look at my little, god damn it, it's in the corner. That's just gonna be there for all of these, isn't it? Why am I so early? There we go. Citra, Lamau. This is a goaded minigame. Spaceball 2. I kind of doubt it's gonna be in this. It might be. But Spaceball 2 in Tengoku is awesome as well. Rhythm Heaven has a weird liminal vibe. Yeah, certain minigames especially have a weird liminal vibe to them for sure. Sneaky Spirits, I think, is my favorite for that. Love this overlay, by the way. It looks so good. Lumbear Jack. Okay, I've only played this one once, but it was pretty easy. I don't know why I chopped that one twice. We missed his dumb little expression when he realizes it was a can. <laughs> <laughs> that will never not, like, make me laugh. When I started playing this one, uh, Bella came into my room, like, on the last stream of this, and she just started folding her arms and just trying to do that in real life. <laughs> it was funny. Look, it's got the goggles of the gatekeeper guys. Go. Okay. You made it. Well then. What is normal human standing? What is your pose, dude? He's so used to holding a staff, he's like lopsided. I was banking on you giving up partway through. Not too shabby. Woohoo! Yep. One, two. Two. It's fun here in the Japanese uh, voice lines. I think I'll keep it on. It'll add to the challenge, maybe. I love that the one where they get the fiendish expression is like... Nothing. It's like so slow compared to like snappy trio bullshit. Give me the money. Give me the money. Mm. Do you say the same thing every single time? These are weird. Not really sure how to feel about this so far. Uh, I'm worried about Samurai Slice. The rest of these should be fine. I wonder if the voice lines will be different here. Because they're not actually saying words, they're just going tweet, so, ta, tweet, ta. Nope. Same. In minigames like this, to people who haven't played the series, ones like this might seem complicated at a glance, but they're actually really simple. Basically all I'm doing is pressing the button after the arm glows. When it turns red. The rest is just automatically happening. 
I remember watching Jarma play Fever. I, I thought that Micro Row was much more complicated. I thought you had to, like, press specific buttons for the different symbols that they, like, spout out their backs. But it's really simple. I love this part of the song. This one, this is a great minigame. Ace. Simple. This one's so good. I always hit B there. Beautiful. What a, that, that one's so good. Piece of cake, no sweat. But this one will make me sweat. This is one I'm less familiar with, and uh, it's kind of hard, I don't know. In my opinion, but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it. Life goal, clear in three lives. What does that mean? Has it said that the whole time? It's not even asking me to get score? When you lose all hearts, you are out. Huh. Oh, Jesus. This one's different. Okay. I'm very nervous. Don't matter. It don't matter. I win. <laughs> that last one always fucks me up. Easy. I mean, I could have just put down the controller there. I did try and fuck it up, though. Okay, how about just give me the ball instead of saying the same thing every time? God, this is addictive, though. I see how they, like... This game has a lot more stuff to, like, keep you playing. Like, 100%ing this game is is a lot more than 100%ing something like Fever or Tengoku. What's he doing? Is he playing his own... He's got a little Game Boy Micro there? PS Vita. Something tells me it's not a PS Vita. Just let it roll like water off a duck's back. Are these ducks? I thought they were, like, herons. Huh. 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 Japanese. Keep hitting aces to run away from the monster. Don't get eaten. Okay. Huh. Huh. Ah. It's throwing me off so much. This is fucked. Jesus. Okay, that's gonna be fucked with input delay. Absolutely fucked. Because if you look at the- if, if, if you guys have been paying attention to the, uh... Oh, I get three tries though, okay. If you guys have been paying attention to the down, like, the, the bottom screen, pretty consistently I am behind the beat because of the input delay. It's so distracting. Lame. Got further that time. Uh, just- just having it, like, slowly zoom out and be faster is fucking me up so hard. IDK, I'd say it's a little easier on actual hardware. Yeah! <laughs> I would say so, too. <laughs> I would very readily say so. Bella has this on her 3DS, and I was thinking for, like, the super hard final remix, I might literally just get her copy of it and get my webcam out, because it'll be, like, Way easier. I guess we'll leave now. That's like that's our that's our way out. It's an excuse to stop and go on to the actual game. Okay, oh god, we gotta listen to this again. I was really hoping they would stop talking for these. Okay. Rhythm Tweezers 2. But this is actually Rhythm Tweezers 1 from Tengoku. It's not like Rhythm Tweezers 2 in Tengoku is fucked. Beautiful. Woo! Perfect and skill star, Jesus. I like that they had to, uh... They had to, like, redraw the Tengoku ones. It's kind of interesting seeing those in, like, the modern art style, because those were originally in really, like, tiny pixel art. They've taken their show on the road, or rather to a featureless white plane. We all know this one. He screamed! Oh shit. 
Okay. Phew. I was like, how do I do this? You don't have to flick. It's the same exact button. Still managed to get a heart there somehow, even though I beefed it pretty bad. Hmm. I actually, this is gonna sound weird, but I, I want to do the practice for this one to see if they fixed the weird... There was something in DS Rhythm Heaven that was very stupid about this minigame where the practice was different from the actual game. The When all three of them sing at the same time, they get cut off at like a different time, but here they have the conductor to cue you, which doesn't actually... Oh, they just teach you this here. Okay. Never mind. Because it was like, when you sing all at the same time, it was like you hold it for three beats in the practice in the DS one, but then four beats in the actual minigame, or something like that. It, there was some- there was like a weird thing to it. I should probably take off the Japanese, but I don't really care that much. I don't know, especially with these ones that we've heard the actual cues before. One, two. One, two. One, two. In this one, I can do the, uh... Oh my god. What the fuck? Why would they add this? Ah. Lame. Why would they put that in? The fuck? <laughs> That's so goofy. This does not strike me as the kind of series to make a fart joke like that. Like, that's some WarioWare bullshit. Is there anything even slightly like that in, like, the entire rest of the Rhythm Heaven series? Oh, now we got a bunch of people mansplaining things I already know that this is made by the WarioWare team. Yeah. Come back two years ago. I'm excited for this one. Let's try some melons today. One, two, three, four. How did I do it? It's because it counts you in. That's funny instantly knew what to do. What if this, like, there's like a sad liver? What is this, like, pancreas that's been doodled on the sidewalk there? The cats. Ah! <laughs> Happy! Girl, Sedge. This one's awesome. Huh. Huh. Ah! Hmm. Didn't even perb it. Okay, I've heard lots of things about Machine Remix. I didn't even... I kind of just picked one of these at random, honestly. But that's like one of the harder remixes, right? Pizza. So that's just random, huh? Okay, a mashup of previous games working like a well-oiled machine. Guess I'll stick with Japanese lyrics, but I don't know if this one actually has vocals or not. One, two. One, two. Nice. Oh my god. It does have lyrics. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Ah. Okay. Boo. <laughs> oh hey, it's the chicken with the car. The, that rhythm tweezers shit, that was uh, intense. It's just so fast for rhythm tweezers. I loved when it showed the different uh, choir boys like spawning in in between other mini games. Never talk about choir boys spawning. It's flowing like crazy. Yeah, you shut up too, dude. Okay. Ah! 
simple sis. Well done. This was but a taste of the challenges in this campaign. Are you doing the David Bowie heroes pose? I'm sorry? Not exactly. I remember the last perfect that I had to get in Tengoku was Remix 7 or something? I forget. But it's the one, it's the last remix, which isn't, it's not like Remix 10 in Fever where it's every minigame. It's just kind of a simple one, but it had these, a couple of really like fiendish rhythm tweezers sections at the very end of this really long remix. And that was just the biggest fucking pain in the ass. Like it, it was so agonizing. And that one, I really didn't have delay going on. It was just really hard. I don't know why this one's like horny. Ooh, rat race. I forgot that this is in this, isn't it? They look weird there. Mm. <laughs> oh, Baka S. Baka S. Okay, I think, uh, Mrs. Whiskers. This is another one where the tutorial, the only tutorial we've ever seen for this is one that was, uh, in unofficial translation. Time to separate the capybaras from the chinchillas. Let's see if I remember how to do this one. Not played this one a lot. Ooh, close one. There you go. He loses the sign. Interesting. In the original version, you still lose the sign, but they don't, like, toss it behind them like that and say there's gonna be no more signs. Which threw me off the first time I played it. I'm kinda glad they added that bit in there. We'll have to start a family to eat all this. Th this scene is reminding me of, like, Tomodachi life. All hail the rice cracker and stuff like that. Where, where you have a dream and they're like, all, all your me's are dancing around in a, a piece of food. Fan club! I, I know, I happen to know this one has changed quite a bit in this one, just the visuals of it. It's like rave themed now. Pop stars can't make it on their own. They need the help of fans like you to get the audience worked up. Idol culture is completely fucking fucked. I cannot endorse idol culture, sorry. As much as I love this minigame. God, they're all off center. Best lyrics. For you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's not fan club too. There's no cha cha. I was yours, but I'm too shy, I suppose. Shit. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Yeah. is not the one where you clap. So I guess the rave one is the second one. Their like heads and arms are slightly off center from their bodies and it bugs the shit out of me. When you're happy, you enjoy the music. You understand the music. When you're sad, you understand the lyrics. I butchered that. Working dough. Whoa. Why does Game & Watch look different? No, he doesn't. Never mind. Bum 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 This is one of the hardest perfects in Fever. Because there's just so many inputs. Fuck. Oh my god, it's the Reddit alien. Nice! That's of course that's the skill star. Working Doe 2 is like easier than that one to perfect, strangely. Every once in a while there'll be a sequel game that uh Why did that say first skill star? It's the first time I got the skill star in this one. Sometimes the sequel games will be easier than the original, like Lockstep in Rhythm Heaven DS. I always felt like it was... The second one is just easier. Oh, this is an entirely new one. I have seen this one before. Somebody said that Mega Mix was originally a port of Fever. Like, they were when they were first making it, it was, it was gonna be just a port of Fever. 
that checks out because there's so many Fever minigames in this. I feel like an uh, like a inordinate amount just looking at what's in the shop. Maybe I'm wrong, but it also feels like the the Wii ones are just directly ported, whereas the uh, Tangoku and DS ones have been remade. Time to earn. Look at his gay little pose. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Anyway. Easy. You did it. Next, practice with giraffes. What happens if you fall? <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. He's fun. It Nightwalk game ends you. That would be fucked up. It, Nightwalk. One of the things I love about Tengoku in particular is that there's so many, like, minigames with crazy fucking rules like Nightwalk where you can just die in the middle of the minigame like that's so unusual or quiz where you can fail the practice oh my god Woo! Nice. This is a banger! <laughs> Big monkey! Why is it? It's in such a weird art style. If you fail the quiz practice while going for a perfect in this game, it just gives you the perfect for free. What the fuck? Is that a glitch? That was one where when I saw people playing it, I was always like... Or when I saw it in like remixes, I was like, well, that one looks hard. But the spotlights help you. Uh, <laughs> Imagine if that broke your perfect. Uh, 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 Together now. Uh, 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 Together now. Uh, 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 Together now. Uh, ah. The door gets slammed in my face. Uh, to, to anybody who's not played this before, by the way, the way you play this one is kind of funny. You hold down the button to keep them from singing, rather than pressing the button to sing. Which I just always thought was funny, because it's like they're little goblin demons that need all their restraint possible to uh, withhold themselves from making a noise like that. Uh, uh. Stressful, that last one. Uh, alright, oh, new remix, new remix. Exciting. This one's got Rat Race in it, which is always a strange one to put into a remix. These are the most exciting part of the game for me. Oh yeah! It's Ninja. Huh. There's no spotlights in this one. Look at them. <laughs> They're donut holes. Um. Did you guys hear that? Anyone else pick up on that? Jesus. Woo! Oh, I thought he was gonna just like go sailing off of it. Okay, I am so used to using the fucking visual cues of that one that I completely fucked it up every time. In the middle of that song, anybody else notice that? Just me? Okay. It played the riff from Sam or er, from Sumo Brothers during some of those fan club parts. It played burn dan 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 dan. It played that. Right there. You hear it? That is. Like, the exact same thing. And the same instrument. I'm probably reading too far into it, but I wonder if, like, Sumo Brothers was originally supposed to be in this one. Probably not. Whatever, let's just do this one. Fuck it, Songbird. This is the scary bitch. People were saying in the comments that the bad kerning on the font is, like, not the game's fault. It's, like, Citra's fault. 
which makes sense. No, not Citrus Tower, the emulator I'm using. Obey or you will never see heaven. Hey! You are the girl. They are the monkeys. Follow them to tap stardom. This one's a little tricky. I love tap! Banger. Sharp work. What a performance! Uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but the giraffe is not in Rhythm Heaven Fever, right? It's like in the, it, it's in like the sprites for the game, but they don't actually use it. Tap loves you too, giraffe. There's a section of Tap Trial in Fever that I used for my most recent remix, and I was, when it came up in that song, I was like, oh, how did I edit out the giraffe? And then I was like, the giraffe isn't in there, I don't think. I'm getting conflicting reports here. Maybe it is? Maybe it just doesn't say things? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of the, uh... The fact that there's like a cut dragon sprite for Tap Trial 2 in Tengoku. Froggers. <laughs> They're pants. What is that in the background? Is that the same building as like Glee Club or whatever? Oh, I don't know how the spin works, but I think I can figure it out probably. It's either A or B. One of my favorites. It's B. Penis boys. There you go. Fuck. I always put maple syrup on my pancakes, not honey. Are you disappointed in me? I, I've, I've heard so many people be like salty about the fact that this of all the mini games to put in Mega Mix from Tengoku is like Toss Boys didn't get in, Rap Men didn't get in, Bonodori didn't get in, but this got in. You aced the quiz, you score one mojillion points. See you again next week. Oh, I didn't get the skill star. When Bella played this, she just got the skill star. I guess I didn't do a specific thing. I needed to actually be rhythmic in quiz? What? You have to do the tutorial? Why does that not feel right? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, whoa, I broke all three. Holy shit. If you mash, you just destroy everything. <laughs> Live from ringside, we hear the champ's innermost thoughts and feelings after the match. This is a hood classic. Is this- this is like the most well-known thing besides like maybe Glee Club? <laughs> she sounds so goofy in Japanese. I just guessed. It's B. Sugoi. Nice. Yes. Yeah, same wrestler voice. His voice transcends language. Beautiful. So many of these, I feel like I can, if I were to just play the original, I would be able to like tell where the skill star is. Like in Forklift, right? I bet it's on the hamburger. The last hit of the hamburger. Oh, this remix is gonna have Frog Hop and Ringside in it. I'm ready. Tangotronic 3000. New game. Poggers. Oh, Tangotronic, you're the best dance partner I can imagine. He looks like Twitch chat. This one looks bizarre. Like they're more realistic looking than your typical Rhythm Heaven characters. <laughs> is it like 3D? Like actual 3D? The background, I mean. <laughs> no. 
Nice. <laughs> Damn, no skill star. <laughs> oh shit. His head come off. What the fuck are they doing? Her head spins too. <laughs> That's awesome. She fucking broke her neck. It's like the robot in- this is the result of the robot in Katana Zero that learned to feel love. Okay, these usually fuck me up the first time I play them. Is this one that has lyrics, I wonder? We're on Japanese anyway, so... <laughs> oh my god. Look at her ass. Caked out. What? Oh. I did the wrong thing there. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna say it. This might be John's, but the Japanese lyrics kind of fucked me up there. She hit me with a segoi desne, and I did a pose for the fans. Who that? Who it be? That's not a burb. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do- how long have I been going? Let's do one more tower. Let's do bees, because I know this is not actually the end of the game. Oh god, it's this asshole. Uh, something tells me that he wants me to play mini games and restore the flow to the tower. Just a random wild guess. Even Tibby is doing the same bit. Okay, Karate Man returns. Fuck. Hey, baby. Yeah. How's it going? This beat is non stop. Hey, baby. Listen to my face. I can give you the sense of rhythm. No flow meter in this one, though. <laughs> That's new. Of course, that's the skill star. <laughs> that's funny. Makes me sad because I'm pretty sure. Karate Man 2 from Tengoku is not in this one, which I think is one of the funniest minigames. And that's the one where that last hit is randomized how fast it is. Which is just yet another example of Tengoku being weird and experimental. That and the whole flow meter thing. Philbots 2. Which is actually just Philbots 1. I wonder if actual Philbots 2 is in this one. Cause that one's like an hour long. Was so off. When they fly, that means he did it perfectly, by the way. Nice. <laughs> Full of pilk. <laughs> this is the weird one. No. Am I crazy, or was it like the song from DS Philbots 2? Was that like different, or was that the exact same as normal Philbots from DS? I genuinely don't remember. It was DS Philbots 2 music? Because I remember, yeah, the, when the offbeats started coming in, I was like, is that in the original Philbots? It's so hard to talk about these because they added the dumb prequel minigames in this one. God, it feels weird seeing Air Rally 2.
And I'm also used to it saying Old Spice. Oh, no practice, right? Japanese! Come on, you can't miss the last one. How lame is that? Anyway, GG. That one's like different feeling. They like nerfed the amount of uh, cloud cover on that. Also, when I was doing uh, when I was doing modding, when I was like fucking around with the sprite sheets and stuff in Fever, I noticed that in that one, one of the fish from Catch of the Day is like in the sprite sheet, but I don't think it actually shows up in the mini game anywhere. I could be wrong. Like I. I was trying to, like, keep my eye on the water. That might be cut content. It's like the one, the, the, like, fake out fish. This one was, the prequel one to this one was fun. I guess not even a prequel. Ah, shit. Genuinely got japed. It wasn't even a jape. Love. There you go. <laughs> wow, that one was fun. <laughs> Prequel minigames aren't real. I forgot about that. They don't exist, just like Germa and birds. Okay, I have heard this remix, and this one... This one has English lyrics though, right? Let's just play it. This remix singer is Sunku's daughter if I'm not wrong. Interesting. <laughs> Yo, where'd this stinger come from? He just shat it out. Ah. him with honey. Ah. Nice. He's thinking about- he's just like Boondog. He's gonna put honey on his pancakes though, like a true bee patrician. That is a very cute song. Some of the Japanese cues, I like didn't even notice, uh, Forthington being like, two, three, four, because I'm not used to the Japanese version. Awesome, that one's great. You can punch the pancakes, what the fuck? They were nowhere near his fist. If that's true, that's kind of like how, uh, in Samurai Slice in Wii, when it says the end or to be continued at the end of them, you can slice up those words. If it had a stinger, it would be wagging. He's confused. I think that's enough for today. Next time we got, what, Citrus and Barbershop? Air Border. Uh, let's we'll save that for next time. Something in me doubts I'm gonna be able to get that one, actually. It was one I struggled with a weird amount. But, uh, yeah, fun game still. The remixes are my favorite part, as usual. But the, all the new minigames are really great, too. Like, that, that fruit-catching one is awesome. A lot of them involve fruit, because this one also involves fruit. The monkey swinging one was cool, but honestly, Chameleon might still be my favorite. It's just so satisfying. And uh, I'll, I'll see you next time, ya fucks.